same night, I'm your host Jeffrey Visser, and once again playing Anna Noir. In the last episode, we headed towards Levine's liquor store at 939 South Hope Street. And let's talk to the owner. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into <coughs> the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? Yes. You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Thank you. Come on, hurry. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robin. <laughs> you know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Come on, Rusty. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? We'll take a look around. I hear the boop. Am I stuck in here? No. It seemed like I was for a moment there. Nice camera work. Picture frame. She wasn't always such a loner. Jeez. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Can I read it? And she was borrowing Ooh. books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? Who the F's that? Is that her mother? Probably is. Probably nothing, you would say, right? What is this? I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Is that everything? What is this? When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Bowling pin. Rollins oh, bowling alley. Bowling. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Oh, well, in her spare time. I know that place. Oh. Corner of Ninth and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday Strike. nights. One. Do -do -do. Yeah. Nailed it. Of course. When do I ever not nail something? All right. Questions. Contact We're trying to account for victim. Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Why do I have a note of something else then? She was murdered late last night and still extremely drunk. You expect me to believe that she bought a court here in the morning and it lasted her and her friends a whole day? You have some way of proving that I'm lying about when she came in here? I have this... What do I have? You don't ask, you never find out. Was an alcoholic and your friend, and you still kept selling her booze. You ever try to stop an addict, detective? Better me than having her buy methylated spirits from the hardware store. Yeah. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. All right. 
We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, I have a good reason to yeah. want to get back on. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Seem a bit frightened. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I can get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, cool. huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Sure. Okay. Next stop will be yeah, Manchester Park. Right. <coughs> Come on, dude. We could also try not to break. Why I'm going this way, actually. I don't need that. I don't know. Yeah. Siren. KGPL to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. There we are. Minch's bar. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Huh. Ah, a bunch yeah. of these guys. Ask around. <laughs> What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. Hi, McCaffrey? Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Yeah. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Uh, that doesn't sound really... Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your thing. file? Industrial disputes. Strikes. Workers' rights. That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. <laughs> oh, boy. You Rusty? say you barely knew Evelyn? You never failed to amuse me. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Wait, what did he say? You say you barely knew Evelyn. Alright, let's... That, that is I don't like you, McCaffrey. You look like someone who's trying too hard. Like your whole life is some kind of performance. I think you need to give us something to get us out of your life. I don't like you either, you pompous, stiff-necked patrician. You think I don't see through you and all the other minions of the ruling class? Hush. Did you see Evelyn last night? No. I was at home. 
writing. Do you have anyone who can... Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Okay, cool. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Oh, boy, let's go out back. Is there anything important out back? Probably not. Gentlemen. Come on, I need to go. Let me in. Is it busy? Oh, fuck. Hello, my good sir. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. <laughs> Uh, Evelyn mooches yes. for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Jeez. Let's see. Next stop. Rawlings Bowley. Bowley Alley. Yeah. That's where we're going. The Bowling Alley. Car 11K. Car 11 King. Eleven King. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Eleven King. En route. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. All right. Change look. Oh, I already did that. All right. Thanks, dude. Driving, driving, driving. Woohoo! Oh snap! Calm Holy down! Fuck, that's at your car on fire? I am awesome. Keep LA safe. Drive safely. And drink Cola King. Because Cola King is more awesome than whatever else you got. Breathe, thou breathe, damn it! Breathe? Why? It's not like I live or anything. Holy fuck, where did your head go for a millisecond? I want to make the Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker. And her other. Where are you going? Oh wait, we're going downstairs. Good looking for a policeman. Hills good looking. Come on, you Well thank you, lady. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases. Which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers. Cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress. Scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us <laughs> like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Yeah. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. No hourly reports? All right. We 
We've got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. All right. I'll do all the hard work then. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. See him? Saw his picture in the paper. Worked that case with a lady cut up like a Dahlia. Grown man. Playing at being boy. That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Oxymoron for you. Where the hell am hey, I? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. He said all fair in love and war. I think the vice boys get any any time. Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Where the F is that phone? Oh, it probably isn't here. I can't go in there. Why? I must be a moron. Oh, I'm an idiot. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? You can I need an address Bye. for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment six, one two six Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks for your help. Has anyone seen my pen? Hey, you think those vice boys get any on the side? All right. Let me pose a question. The pens. What's it got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. Now that I have the exact location of Grosvenor McCaffrey at 126 Hill Street, I might have to go there. But that will have to wait for the next episode. Stay tuned for that next Thursday, but until then, my name is Jeff Fizzer and I thank you for watching this episode of Game I'll see you then.